So I've always had a, a soft spot for, for this Tag Heuer Kirium. Um, this is a Tag Heuer Kirium Formula One. Now these were uh, first introduced back in 1997, I believe. Uh, and they, they started, the, the retail price started at 50, around about 1500 pounds. And then throughout the years, um, they eventually peaked at uh, 1,695 pounds. Now I did try and find an old catalog with the price list on it, but I couldn't find one. Now the reason I know the price um, so well was because I was really considering buying it at that time because I I, I did like it, I do like it. Now these were brought in um, to replace the Tag Heuer 4000 series, I believe. And I don't think they were that that popular. They did sort of take off for the first year or so. They were, they were, um, they were selling quite well and then they sort of tanked and dived off. I did consider buying it at that time, but I bought the Breitling B1 instead. Now, for me, that was a better watch. They were around about the same price. Um, that started off at around about 1,500 pounds as well. I paid a tw around about 1,200 pounds for my B1 brand new uh, with discount. And I still own that watch. That's my f absolute favorite watch. I have no review of that. I'll leave a link uh, in the description or a, a, there's a tag there. You can go and watch that video. Adore that watch. It's my f absolute favorite watch. Now with most watches, they kind of have a bottom line, they'll depreciate to a certain point and then they will kind of level off and then slowly the price will increase. So my uh, B1 now, they're selling for more than what I paid for it. So I could resell that B1 uh, and get more than what I paid for it. So the watch has essentially been free for me. These watches just plummet and they don't recover whatsoever. They just go down and they stay um, at ridiculously low prices. Now I've been sort of looking for one of these for, for years and years and then the, the condition of these watches, that's, that's the downside of these. If you look at the condition of this watch, it is beaten up quite badly. Uh, and it's got scratches all over the, the, the dial. Um, you can just, if I can just see, the, see the dial is actually not, sorry, the dial, the, the glass, Sapphire glass is not actually scratched. Um, it's the anti-reflecting, you can just see some there. It's the anti-reflective coating which is scratched. So if I took off all the anti-reflective coating, the, the glass itself would be fine. But the bezel's all scratched up. Uh, the side of it's got dings on there. Um, now, I'm not gonna bother having it polished up because I don't wanna spend 50 pounds to have it all polished up. I do have these sort of polishing blocks um, which are really good. You should, uh, you should definitely buy one of these. Now this will, these will take out the majority of the, the big scratches. And then I have uh, another one which is a little bit finer. So I paid 270 pounds for this watch. It just arrived this morning. And that's an absolute bargain. Now the guy originally wanted 695 pounds. He then dropped it down to 675 pounds. And I offered him like a stupid amount of money for it. I didn't think he did, he would take it. Um, I think I, I was I offered him 250 for it I didn't expect him to take it and then he came back with another offer uh, and then we eventually so I sort of said to him look nah, so I'm not gonna pay it and I think he kind of knew that he was asking too much for it these watches are kind of hovering round about the 350 400 pound mark so I was being a bit cheeky at the 250 mark but I didn't expect him to accept um, 270 to be honest um, and I just also, I said to him, look, it's all beaten up. It's all very damaged. Now, in the photos, it actually looks a lot worse than what it was. I was expecting the watch to be quite bad. Again, the camera is picking up a lot of the scratches more than what it is. But the watch, in fact, works absolutely fine. There's no problems with it. And it did come with absolutely everything. So it came with the original Tag Heuer box. Um, it's got the manual. I got the warranty card and everything. Uh, the watch has actually been, it was sold in Basel uh, and it comes with the original Tag Heuer and it's got the, it's got a little tag there. It, it's also got this extra uh, buckle. I think this one must have been an old buckle because it's very loose. So it must have been changed and they've just thrown that back in there. It's not really much use to me. So the box itself is, a, I've, I was so shocked when I saw the box. It's very, very good condition. Now these tend to just sort of deteriorate. There are some scratches and marks here and there, but I've seen them all peel off. But yeah, I was like so surprised when I got it. I thought, oh, it's got all the boxes. 
uh, paperwork and everything. Um, I mean, these I could probably just sell the box alone for around about 25, 50 pounds, I think. Uh, stick it on eBay and that's that's a lot of the money back and it also came with this extra box This is like a service box. So when it went for a service, it would have come back in this uh, And he threw this in as well. So it's a nice little little box a little carry box It's got a little bit of damage there, but it's made from cardboard, but you know 270 pounds. Yeah, you know, I can't really complain. Yeah, it's all scratched up but for a watch which is 20 what one years old is to be expected to be honest uh i will i might do some pictures of after i've gone over it with this and see what it looks like but again it doesn't really bother me if it's all scratched up i don't really have to take care of it too much because i'm think i can think of it oh it's already scratched up so what does it matter so the depreciation of this it works out at almost 83 percent of depreciation which is just it must be heartbreaking for anyone who's bought one of these and had to sell it for that price. Um, so I'm really glad I didn't buy one at that time because it would have been just gut-wrenching to think, oh my God, I've lost 83% of value of my watches because most watches will retain their value after 10 years. Like I said, they'll reach a bottom line, then the prices tend to go up a, a little bit. Um, run through some of the functions. Um, so that's on the chronograph. So there um, you've got the 27, so that's the date that stays all the time so that's the timer now the timer has a literally a hundred uh, day timer so i can set it for a hundred days uh, which is great um, my b1 is, is very similar I, I didn't expect it to have a hundred days i thought it would only have uh, maybe 24 hours um, of a timer because most watches only have 24 hours my vectronox only does 24 hours so i was, I was pleased with that it, because it's been such a long time i haven't i've forgotten all about the functions of this watch um, so when you do that, that turns off all the screen, just leaves the date. You can turn that off. I think it's, is it the bottom one? No, I think it's the top one. Yeah, so that can turn it off completely or you can leave it on and then turn it again. So that's the second time zone. And then uh, it's the top one. No, is it the top one? So that's the first time zone. So that syncs with the uh, the analog hands or you can use it, use this. So you've got to press and hold. That's changed to the second time zone. And then that's your date. Now, I believe uh, that must be 21. So it must be 21 weeks, I believe, in the, in the throughout the year. Um, so you've got the date, the 27th uh, of, uh, you can't see it there, but it's May uh, 2023 and Saturday. And then that's the alarm. And then the chronograph. Um, there is a way of turning the bleeps on and off, but I actually haven't bothered looking at that because I don't really care about the bleeps. I don't know if this is a 24 hour chronograph. I haven't run it to the end and I haven't re had a look through the manual because the watch was already all preset. The, the guy who I bought it off was from England, so I didn't really need to change anything. I will probably just leave it on the, the date function here uh, most of the time where I could just turn it off. Um, one of the other watches um, that I was looking at way back when these were up was the Amiga X33, I believe it was. I didn't like that at all. It had too many buttons. It had, it had four buttons. It had a crown, so it's literally like five. It was just too messy for me. Although the new X, I think it's the X, is it the X33 as well, and they've, they've called it something else. I actually do like that one a lot, but it's very expensive, I think, for what it is, because my B1 is just as good. But now I've got this. I don't really expect to be buying another multifunction watch now. My other multifunction watches are my Sun 2, so this one I was using for travel. Also this one, great travel watches, very cheap. Take them just about anywhere. If you look at the condition of the watches, again, very good condition considering I've had these for almost five years. Um, but great little watches to, to travel with. Shot and very pleased with the with the price uh, and for the watch that I got. Didn't expect it to be this good, although, like I said, very, very badly uh, scratched, but not an issue for me. I can easily take them out. Um, but in terms of, I was thinking, what's wrong with it? When, when, I was, when I opened it up, I thought, okay, let me have a look at it. What's wrong? Is the crown wobbly? Is it not uh, turning the uh, chronograph or something? Is not gonna be working properly? It's not synced up, but works absolutely fine the uh the strap um is is fine it's it's it you know it doesn't have any loose bits to it uh the buckle also and it's not loose probably because it's been changed really happy with this watch and for 270 pounds uh, i think that's 
basically it's going to be its bottom line now even if i was to scrap this watch because i've seen these watches on ebay as spares and repairs go for uh, for 250. so even if i was going to have to get out of this watch after like a few years i'm i'm not going to lose any money on this watch whatsoever i can easily sell it for i think 250 270 by the by the time anyway uh, and i'll get use out of it as well but yeah really happy with this watch i'm i'm sure a lot of people will think that is a horrible horrendous watch and i tag hoyer you either love them or hate them. Um, I quite like Tag Heuer. Tag Heuer has got a soft spot in my heart for, for them. So with uh, with less than 10 minutes worth of uh, scrubbing it with the uh, the thicker uh, block, this is the result. And uh, as you can see, I would say about 90% of the scratches have gone. You can still see quite a few. There's this deep one just there a few there but considering it was like this one so I haven't done that side yet so that's what it used to look like and with less than 10 minutes worth of work that's what it looks like now so if I go over it with the the thinner one uh, the fine one especially the uh, the bezel um, there's, there's quite a few scratches on the bezel so if I go over that with the fine what I'll do is I'll just take a, a chunk a little piece cut a piece out then I can uh, get into it a lot easier. But yeah, I'm happy with that. For less than 10 minutes, if I actually took some time to do a, a better job, which I probably will do uh, over the next few uh, days. So from this to this, in less than 10 minutes, I would say about six minutes worth. All right, so that's about all I'm going to do today, that's the best I'm going to do today. I don't think I'll bother doing any more, but yeah, really pleased with that. Less than an hour's worth of work. There's some deep scratches there. You can just see and there I'd have to really scrub harder or use a Dremel or something to get them out and then go over it with the, the with the block. But with less than an hour's worth of, um, of polishing, it's just there under 30. There's a, um, on next to the 30 there's a, a deep kind of scratch there uh, on the bezel but yeah the bezel on just there around about 12 there's some deep scratches there as well but overall I'm really happy with this uh, with this watch for 270 pounds and about an hour's worth of scrubbing to take out definitely I would say 90% of the scratches um, I've taken out and if you saw you saw what it looked like at the beginning uh, when I started the video compare that to what it looks like now